here's my two weeks out update. Um, well, I got my body fat checked two days ago and I'm just over 5%, which is a pinch test. So it's not 100% accurate. I'm probably a little higher than that. Um, but that's still the lowest I've ever been and I always get the same test. So that's what you gotta, if you're gonna do this, keep going to the same person um, and do the same kind of test. So then at least you know you're going down. Um, it's never 100%, um, but I just wanted to say that. And right now I'm having a really, really hard time with the diet. It's a little different than normal. I'm eating the Curin, um and Beyond Beef cut are not cutlets uh crumbles and i was doing the cutlets before which had more sodium i'm doing less sodium this time it's been a little harder for me i'm not exactly sure why uh it's just sodium but today i really struggled i um it's my day off and midday i kind of had to take a nap it's sunday and i just feel useless i have a friend that's visiting from alabama and she's here tomorrow and i haven't been able to do my laundry or clean up my room and she's like oh I don't care it's okay it's okay and she's even gonna go with me to my posing lesson tomorrow she's a trooper um anyway I have a busy busy week this week too so we'll see how that goes my uh, husband's a firefighter and we have his firefighters ball on Friday night and well it's food and I can't eat because I'll be a week out on Friday um so this is really hard um, I also wanted to let you guys know I'm going to be doing a uh, interview. I actually already did it. They asked quite a, a bunch of personal questions for vegetarianbodybuilding.com. I don't know exactly when it's going to be. So I'm not sure who watches my channel that's vegetarian or vegan or if any of you are. Um, I know I've gotten some comments about um, people that want to do it vegetarian. Um, but I've I've been one of those people that really it's your own journey and if you want to do it with meat, you want to do it vegetarian, you want to do it vegan, however you want to do it, it's fine with me. But I have gotten a lot of flack from, not on this channel, but just in general in life from vegans and the fact that I ha raise my own chickens and that that's mean and I shouldn't do that. But I'm just here to tell you my chickens are so loved and I understand that um, Commercial egg farms can be pretty harsh and very mean to the birds, just like dairy farms and that sort of thing. But I don't want to really get into that as part of my video. Um, that's not, I'm not, and I love animals, but this isn't a vegan, vegetarian, you need to do this kind of channel. It's, this is just what I do. And I don't have a problem with the way anybody else does it, but it kind of annoys me that people have a problem with the way I do it. Um, and it's not the meat eaters. The meat eaters are like, wow, good for you. That's hard to do, you know? And I don't eat any dairy or any of that. I just eat eggs and I raise my own chickens and they're happy chickens. They're probably treated better than a lot of humans out there. Um, so none of that is addressed in my bodybuilding, um, vegetarianbodybuilding.com interview, but I just, I had had some people that were giving me a little bit of flack about doing it 100% vegan and I've done that before and that is a way to go but um, for me vegetarianism is just what I do uh, if you want to be a vegan you want to be you want to eat beef you want to do whatever that is your choice so I just wanted to throw that out there that I'm not judging anybody on their ways and I would really appreciate it if people <laughs> didn't judge me on mine um, because this is just my journey and if it bothers you then it bothers you but um, I've had a lot of support though with this channel I've never had anybody comment uh, badly about vegetarianism veganism or me any of that so this has been a very positive channel and I'm very happy with that but just in day-to-day -day life I've had people because um, I'm in a very uh, you know vegetarian vegan world since I am and I go to a lot of stores and festivals and things along those lines and everybody is so trying to push you to not eat any eggs um that's the new movement so anyway I just wanted to throw that out there and if I've done it vegan too so if anybody ever has any vegan questions um I've been both so um and when I was young I ate meat so I've kind of been all over the place even though I knew I was a vegetarian very young I just didn't know that there really was 
until I got a little older and kind of played around with it. All right, one last thing. Okay, so my diet and my everything is going well except for I'm hungry all the time and I have no idea why, but it's way worse than normal. But um, my progress is good and I wanted to, I know that some of you probably might have already tried this, some of you might not have, but everybody kind of wonders about Fabletics. You see it, you're like, do I really want to sign up for one of those things? I'm not gonna push it either way. It's not, it, it's way easier than I thought. You can just skip a month if you want to, but I just wanted to tell you about the products. Um, their leggings are actually awesome. So here, I got these um, leggings. They're camo print leggings, and um, they're super cool um, and really comfortable. They don't ride up. Um, I normally don't wear capris because I'm a little self-conscious of my um, gigantic calves. Um, but, um, and they even look bigger in this angle. Um, but I needed some because it's starting to get a little bit warmer and, but it's not quite warm enough for uh, shorts, even though it's supposed to be in the 80s this week, which I'm so excited about because when you're in prep, you're freezing all the time and 80s just sounds amazing. Um, so yeah, so I got these, I like them. Um, I ordered a couple other things from them. They're pretty affordable in comparison. So we'll see. I mean, I haven't worn them much, so I don't really know the durability, but, um, I, you know, tested them out. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, everything is going really, really well. And sorry for not as many updates, um, for this show, but it's quite similar than some of my other shows, except for I did change to the crumbles instead of the cutlets. Um, my diet is very, very low on calories and I'm really struggling with that. Um, but I am two weeks out. You can do anything for 14 days. Um, so actually I'm 13 days out and I have tomorrow off of work as well, but I have a friend visiting, so it's really not going to be a rest day. Um, anyway, so I will try and get some video tomorrow of me posing. I'm trying a new coach. Just, I have the same coach for my nutrition and all of that, but... Um, he started working with a uh, bikini pro that is going to start doing his posing. He's getting out of bikini posing because he's like, yeah, you know, I just know because of my clients, but I've never been a bikini poser because I'm a man. He was a bodybuilder. So um, we're going to see how that goes. She seems really cool. And they're doing a um, Lorna Jane. It's a workout clothes truck show at their gym tomorrow. So I'm going to go for that as well. And I will also um, post about uh, the firefighters ball and how I handled a social situation like that. Eating probably egg whites. I think I eat on Friday night. It's going to be exciting. But um, all right. I'll uh, keep you guys posted on what's going on and have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Bye.